Hey everyone, so I actually forgot to film the intro for this video, so here I am, four hours later, filming it. <laughs> so the makeup I did today is a Korean-inspired makeup and hairstyle. This makeup look is actually really easy to achieve, as you will see if you continue watching this. <laughs> and that's why I like the Korean-style makeup, because in general, it doesn't require a lot of makeup. So I think that this will be a good everyday makeup as well and makeup look for those who are just beginning. Anyway, so if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look and how I did this hairstyle, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is how the hair turned out. Not how I imagined, but <laughs> this will work. So now for the face makeup, I'm going to be using a BB cream that is a shade too late for me because with Korean makeup, that's what they like. And with the sponge, I'm just going to blend it out. I'm using a BB cream because this will give me a more natural effect and a foundation and this is dewier than most of the foundations I have <laughs> and now going in with concealer I'm going to be dabbing a little under my under eyes my smile lines middle of my forehead and my nose and blend that out So I just went ahead and powdered my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily and I'm leaving the other areas untouched so that we can get that natural glow. Now I'm going to go in with a coral blush with a sheen in it. I'm going to be placing it on the apple of my cheeks and going to be bringing it closer to my nose slightly. We are going to go a little bit heavy on this. And by bringing the blush closer to my nose, I am creating that cute, drunk look. <laughs> and now with a bronzer, we're going to lightly contour the perimeter of the face. Okay, so now moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking a red lip tint and I'm going to be placing it in the center of my lips. I haven't worn lipstick in a long time, so this doesn't look right to me, but... Okay, so now that our face makeup and lips are done, we're going to move on to our eyebrows and eyes. So, I'm just going to be taking a light brown eye pencil, and I'm going to be filling in my brows lightly, creating a more straight look. My veins will cover anyway. <laughs> Do I look like a doll yet? <laughs> For the eyeshadow, I'm just going to be using this one eyeshadow palette. It just consists of four different shades of pink. So taking the darker shade, I'm going to be placing that along my lash line. And then going in with the pink, I'm just going to be placing that on and just above the darkest shade that we just applied. We are not going to bring the color very close to my brow bone. We're just going to focus it on my eyelid rather than in the crease. We're going to do the same process on my lower lash line. And now with a flat 
shader brush I'm be going in with this shade right here and I'm going to be placing it all on top of the shadows I just applied. This will give it a sheen, a nice soft sheen to help blend everything out. And when that shadow is done, I'm going to be taking a dark brown and I'm going to be using this as a liner. We want to be as close to the lash line as possible. And we want to keep the liner as natural as possible too. Now I'm just going to be applying some mascara and we'll be done the look. I'll be right back. Okay, and here you have it. Korean inspired makeup and hair. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like to comment what you think about this look and subscribe for more. Thank you. Bye.